Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and install a PS2 game over the network onto our PS2 hard drive that's plugged in to our network adapter. So let's just jump right into it. Um, we're going to need HDL game installer. I will leave this link in the, the description. Go ahead and click on download links. And you can choose this one here. It will lead to a Mediafire site. And once you do have it downloaded, it will come down as a 7-zip, I believe. You just go ahead and extract it. And then we'll just jump in here. We'll grab the PS2 files. And there's two that we need in here. We need the HDL game installer and the language. So we can go ahead and pop up our USB stick and just copy that over to the root of it. Shouldn't take too long. The files ain't too big. Once that is done, we can go ahead and jump over to the PS2. Okay, so once we're booted in, we can go ahead and select U Launch or W Launch Elf, whichever one. Go ahead and select it by hitting X. And we'll give it a few moments here just to boot up. And once we're in, we can go ahead and use Circle for Select. And we're going to go into our mass storage device, which is our USB with our files on it. Then we can go ahead and hit X on both, just to get them selected. And once they're selected, we can hit R1. And we can go ahead and hit Circle for on copy. And then we'll just go ahead and back out. Now we can go ahead and add it to our memory card if you're using the free Mac boot memory card. Or we can add it to our hard drive, and I'm using the hard drive, so that's what I'll be using. From here, we'll go into sysconf, and then we'll go to our free MacBoot folder, and into our app folder. And we're going to go ahead and just create a folder. We can hit R1, new directory, and we'll just name it GI for game installer. Go ahead and hit OK and we'll go into the folder by hitting circle and we'll go ahead and hit R1 and then circle for paste and it shouldn't take too long it is a lot quicker copy into the hard drive than the memory card as you can see there's not very long at all 10 seconds to go And there we go. We can go ahead and do a reboot. Okay, so once it does do a reboot, we can scroll down close to the bottom where we added it. And there we go. There, hard drive loader. We can go ahead and hit X to launch it. And then we'll just give it a few moments here. It shouldn't take too long to get booted up. And there we go. It's connecting to the network. And as you can see, it did connect to the network. Uh, if you do have problems, you can go ahead and hit select for options. And just make sure that you have use DHCP is enabled. And it should just automatically connect. Once that is done, just take note of the IP address. Because we will need that there. But let's jump back over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and open up our HDL game installer folder. We can go into PC and launch the client. From here, we will type in the IP address, which is 10.0.0.56. And we can hit connect. It does display the games. You can go ahead and edit and delete them if you want. But for this video, we're going to add new game. Hit add game. And you can choose a CD-ROM or DVD drive if that's where you're taking it from. I went on earlier and copied it to an ISO image. So I will be selecting disk image, and we'll hit browse, and go ahead and choose our ISO file. From there, we just need to give it a title. You can type out the full name if you want, but I'm just going to go GTA SA. And we need to do it three times. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. And proceed, yes. We can hit start, proceed with installation, yes. 
So we'll give this a little bit of time to go. It does take a few minutes depending on the size of the game, but let's skip ahead. Okay, so we're just about done. Okay, any moment now. Okay, and there we go. Game installed successful. We can go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that it does come up on the list. Let's go ahead and hit Disconnect, and we'll jump back over to the PlayStation 2. Okay, so now that we're over to the PlayStation 2, you can see the game does come up, but let's go ahead and quit this program, and we'll go over to OPL. Okay, and once it does come up, let's go to OPL. And we'll give this a few moments here to load. It's usually pretty quick. There we go. We'll go ahead and hit circle. And we can see that our GTA game is there. We can go ahead and launch it. And that's basically it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.